Hello everyone, and welcome to the first episode of the Hunt the Hermit Rewind series. Uh, this is something I've done on my channel in the past when I've not been able to do spectator mode towards the end of the UHC, because if I'd managed to make it all the way to the end of this UHC, frankly, it would have been a miracle. Uh, obviously, this is coming out the day after my point of view episode comes out, so I'm going to try to keep these cut and sort of in sync with those episodes. And uh, that is one reason why you actually can't see anything at the top of the screen. I've got that bar that Replay Mod puts in blacked out so you guys can't see how far into the UHC everything is. Because obviously, as soon as I die and get kicked out, that's kind of the end of the replay at that point. So, uh, what else can I say? Well, you can see that we've started in a little bit of an unusual area because... Well, the chunk that should be here is apparently corrupted. So we're missing blocks, which means we are now standing, all three of us, on top of a tree that could start despawning at any point. At least that's the initial thought. And uh, the good news is that's not the case. These trees actually will keep their leaves. They think they're still connected to wood, but you'll see later on in my point of view that these little bits and bobs of leaves are still around. We're in a not bad start right off the bat. We've got three pigs over there, so we've got food. We've got sugarcane over there. But otherwise, that's kind of about it. And let me actually take a dive down here. See if... Aha, there we go. So I can see the caves that are down here. We're in a pretty decent spot, but not much for caves in the immediate area. There's some iron down there if we had managed to find that cave that would have been awesome but there is really no way of knowing anything that's down there especially because with the way that the server was bogged down at the start there was just really no chance for anything to spawn outside of passive mobs and even they were kind of uh, held back so uh, something getting back to the gameplay here you'll notice that I took a dive right off the tree uh, over to this little island here and the reason for that is for the very first few seconds of opening in a UHC, you actually are given, with this the system that's running this UHC, you do have a little bit of a buffer period of regen, and that's to protect you against problems like this, where you're confined in one spot and everyone's getting shoved out because, thank you, Mojang, we really wanted to have this back in the game. Uh, now, there is another problem here, and I'm going to have to see if I can correct that real quick, so hang on one sec. Okay, I thought I could turn that back on, but it does not seem to be the case. Good news is, is the chat replay option is working with this version of Replay Mod, so I will actually see the 20 minute markers. It looks like I'm not actually showing up in the render on this one, annoyingly enough. Uh, you can see I jumped off over here, but hey, the nice thing is, is now you can kind of see what we're all doing. You can see we still got our fart bubbles from regeneration, so definitely uh, you know, that's when you get down off of a tree, wherever you have to go. You have a little bit of that temporary immunity. Uh, everyone is just kind of spreading out here real quick. We're already at a disadvantage here, unfortunately. And that is because we're a three-person team, and there's only one or two other teams that are that size. Let's take a look at some of the rest of the world around us here, as it's barely rendering in. Not a good area to actually spread out and get around with. A lot of these trees are out in the water, so it's taking forever to get out to them. Another problem, actually I think I was over here killing pigs by this point. Another problem that is going to be seen is that obviously we've got enough lag from what's going on that it's going to take us quite a bit to chop down anything on these trees. Now it's not looking quite so bad on replay I think because as far as the replay goes everything's breaking at a normal speed. So it's kind of weird actually how this is all working out. This is how everything should have worked and it's a little wonky because of replay not capturing the server lag, which is rather interesting. So you can see right off the bat I've been going after this tree over here. It's a swamp start so next best thing to getting the uh, the wood here is to go after the top of the tree so I start despawning leaves. What I should have been doing, having seen a little bit of the opening on Susuma's video, is I should have been going after leaves. In fact, we all should have at this point, because the leaves were having a higher chance of breaking. 
and that certainly would have uh, made things a lot better. So the camera down a little bit for you guys. Replay mod is a little wonky on how the camera is working. Now, as far as anyone else in the area, you can see we've got no one else. It's just crafting manas, myself, and senpai. And that's pretty much it. There's a couple people joining the game late, but well, let's do a quick pause here, and we'll take a little bit of zoom around. This terrain, get familiar with it. You will see a little bit of this later. But you can see there is not much out here for spawns at all right now. It is pretty desolate. Not much for animals that you're seeing. There's chunks that are loading and unloading because I don't think it's actually paused. I think it's actually still might still be continuing or it's reconstructing these chunks from later. I'm not exactly sure how this version of the replay mod is actually working or it could be pulling it up out of the world seed for all I know. Dark Oak Forest could also be pretty good for going after apples, but it's a lot more of a pain to, t to take down the bigger trees. But you've got you know, more or less about the same volume of apples, but I, or uh, leaves. And you're going to see that we are going to kind of spread out a little bit here. Speed the game up for you. Senpai's going after some uh, cobble. So let's talk about... Oh, there's an apple over there. Right on the ground. Just wait to be picked up. Uh, the one advantage that you actually do have with the gameplay we're in is we don't have to really get a furnace right away. We're pretty much just going for straight up stone tools to give us a little bit of a boost on mining. Now at this point, I forget where I've gone. Probably over here killing these pigs, since I don't see myself. That's actually more likely a function of the fact that I actually had to go back and forth in time a little bit to sort of catch up to myself and where the game started, because my replay mod doesn't exactly sync to my YouTube mod. Why am I saying YouTube mod? The, uh, the replay and YouTube recordings that you see aren't exactly synced up to each other, especially because of the lag that was happening. But you can see we're just uh, trying to run away and do every possible thing that we can. It's a nice, interesting little world hole. So, replay mod a little wonky for this version of Minecraft. That's interesting. I saw the block pop up at the top of the tree there. So, really, our best bet right now is we've picked up the sugar cane, and there's little bits and pieces of sugar cane everywhere on this map around the swamp. I think I found two separate deposits, if I remember right. But, unfortunately, not much else that's kind of really making this area stick out. Got a lava lake over there, but there's not much we're going to be able to do with it without the metal four bucket. And, of course, we've got to actually get some iron first. You can see we're doing some more tree clearing down here because of the way the blocks are kind of popping up. That might be because I've actually got the game speed up to about two and a half right now. There's another apple over there. Waiting to be picked up. And Mantis grabbed it. So we didn't do too bad for apples, but as far as swamp starts go, I think I actually had better luck with my team on one of the uh, dry runs that we did recently of this map mode. If you haven't seen it, it's uh, actually the Zasuma UHC 9 on or season nine on my channel, where we basically did, and I've got the pigs over there finally, we did a dry run of this particular set of rules uh, with Rack and Unwoven Rainbow as the hermits of appearance, or filling in as the hermits, I should say. And uh, it went pretty well, and I think we kind of figured out how to make everything work well, but it's not exactly a a surefire science, so to speak. Uh, you may have heard X say in his video that uh, you know one of the things actually being done with this was to try to uh, discourage teaming up in massive teams, but it still happens. And the problem with this is you're going to see potentially some outflow from uh, discussions on this. There is a little bit of a problem where 
uh, similar to what we had with the extreme UHCs toward the end, where there were teams who were teaming up outside of the game. And some teams had actually even gone to the point of pre-agreeing on locations. So there's people who just left their teams as, you know, right in the first episode, they just left. Up left, didn't say anything on TeamSpeak, presumably muted themselves, and just went off and joined, uh, you know, their group of, you know, at a prearranged court. It's a lot, you know, I hear that there were people who had went to uh, straight to zero zero essentially, and teamed up. So that was a bit of a problem, and there's also uh, problems with, you know, of course, the, the usual stuff of, well, this person's so good, and they're just, they're just uh, constantly winning, and yada yada yada, and it, you know, there's not much you really can do about that unless you want to ban people from playing the UHC, and that's not exactly fair to those people. So you just kind of uh, turn to watching stuff like this to try to learn something of uh, how to make things work, and I think uh, Crafting Mantis, from what I gathered from what she was saying in chat, uh, didn't exactly have a lot of experience herself with doing UHCs, so this was kind of her longest run as well, and I mean, let's face it, my first UHCs, I had lousy runs. I had some decent beginner's luck, but that was actually more from my team pulling me along. In fact, I still have pretty much beginner's luck at this point. It's pretty much just down to my team because, I'll tell you right now, my fighting abilities are less than optimal in those situations. Actually, here's the other sugar cane that I haven't gotten yet. But yeah, running along here, just trying to grab stuff, grab stuff, grab stuff. We didn't do quite a good job on clearing out trees, but that's really more a function of the lag at this point. It is so hard to actually do anything useful when the server is lagging out this badly. But you'll see that eventually uh, we get over to this area. Senpai has managed to find a little cave here with some iron in it, which is great because that's starter for the shields that we're going to need. And we got some more iron over here that we're eventually going to find. Also going to be coming up on the end of the first episode pretty soon if I'm right. But there's a little bit of a preview of what is to come. As soon as we all link up, that is. The good thing about all of this is that initial iron investment is going to be very critical. It is something that uh, I certainly would say that if you are planning to play in a UHC, that is your first thing that you use iron for. You don't waste it on a sword, you don't waste it on armor. It doesn't matter if you've got one or ten pieces of iron smelted up. The very first thing you should be making in any UHC, especially in 1.9 or higher, is the shield. The reason why is you're going to find that as you go caving, in fact, there's the cows that uh, would be pretty useful. We unfortunately missed those. They just popped out of my render range. Senpai's waiting for us over here. The uh, trick with the shields is that's going to be extremely useful for running up against skeletons. Once you've got a shield, you can pretty much don't have to worry about skeletons. If you've got a sword, you just shield up, keep it up, and you have to... It's one of those skills that you will have to learn is you kind of rush in, you get the single hit, shield up, you wait for them to shoot again, you rush in, you get that second hit, shield up, and, you know, rinse and repeat, essentially. That is an essential skill for UHC. Uh, to know how to make a shield, you know, don't wait until the moment of the UHC to find out how to make one. Shield is your first priority. Because that's... being protected against skeletons is critical. Oh, and there we go, that is the 20 minute marker. So, uh, not 20 minutes in real life, but... Uh, at least as far as this recording goes, but 20 minutes in the UHC more or less. The episode markers were actually on... Uh, were on their target for this one, so... Let's kind of take a little bit of a quick look around, see what we've got rendered under here. Unfortunately, you can see that we've got no dungeons in the area, so no nice easy uh, easy starts with any of that. Some lava lakes, but we do have a mine shaft down here, which could come to prove to make it for some interesting adventure should we find it. And that's really about it, and it's not even a, a very big mine shaft to be honest with you. I mean, that one's a little bigger, but also, yeah, not so not so great. And it's almost, you know, it's like right next to a lava lake, too, so. There's another mine shaft over there. 
But we do have some diamonds over there, so maybe we'll find that mine shaft and luck out. Maybe we won't. We'll find out in the next episode. So I've been Farrell, and thank you guys for watching the first episode of the UHC Rewind for the Hermit Hunt. As you can see, nothing's within render range out here, and we've pretty much stripped down most of the trees in that swamp that we can get to on the mainland. No luck for apples aside from, I think at this point we've got six or seven. Not quite a good start, but it could be far worse. It's just a case of dealing with the lag. We'll catch you guys in the next episode.